This is Akash Rani. The news read by Priya Badu. In Uttarakhand, a tragic accident occurred this morning in the salt area of Almora district when a bl- bus plunged into a deep gorge at Kupi, claiming lives of 36 people and injuring 19 others. An ill-fated bus reportedly traveling from Pauri's Neni Danda to Ramnagar with 55 passengers on board met with an accident this morning leading to a death of 36 passengers. Intensive relief and rescue operations are ongoing. Teams from the SDRF and the RF police and local authorities are actively, are actively carrying out rescue operations at the site. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, State Governor Gurmit Singh and Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami expressed deep sorrow over the tragic loss of lives. The Chief Minister has instructed the authorities to arrange airlifting for critically injured individuals. He has also directed the suspension of the ARTO of the concerned areas in Pauri and Almora. President Draupadi Murmu and Prime Minister Narendra Modi has expressed grief over the tragic bus accident in Almora, Uttarakhand. In a social media post, the President expressed her deepest condolences to the bereaved families and prayed for the speedy recovery of those injured. The Prime Minister also paid condolences to those who lost their loved ones in the road accident. Mr. Modi wished for the speedy recovery of all the injured. The Prime Minister has announced an ex gratia of 2 lakh rupees from Prime Minister's National Relief Fund for the next of kin of each deceased. Senior, senior BJP leader and Prime Minister Narendra Modi alleged the Hemant Soren-led government of cheating the people of Jharkhand during their five-year term. Addressing the election meeting at Chetana Medan in Gharwa, Mr. Modi said the JMM, the Congress and RJD made false promises. The Prime Minister exhorted people to vote for the Bharatiya Janata Party for a double-engine government in Jharkhand to double the pace of its progress. The Prime Minister said that Bharatiya Janata Party has entered the electoral fray with a guarantee of security, stability and prosperity of Jharkhand. Jharkhand BJP President and former Chief Minister Babulal Marandi said the Prime Minister will also address the second public meeting in Chebasa this afternoon. In the last day of withdrawing nominations for the Maharashtra Assembly elections, political activities are peaking across the state. Both key alliances, the ruling Mahayuti and the opposition Mahavikash Aghari are trying to pacify their rebel candidates and convince them to withdraw their nominations. Rebel BJP leader Gopal Shetty, who filed his nomination from the Borivali constituency as an independent, has now withdrawn his application. Shiv Sena's candidate from Mahim, Sada Sarvangar, has expressed his willingness to discuss his candidacy against Maharashtra. Nav Nirman Sena's candidate and party supremo, Raj Thakri's son, Amit Thakri, on the condition that MNS withdraws its candidates, fielded against Mahayuti, especially the Shiv Sena in Mumbai. Maratha Kota leader Manoj Jarange has instructed all his candidates to withdraw their nominations. In Nandit district, 21 nomination forms have been withdrawn so far across three assembly constituencies. In Jammu and Kashmir, the first session of the newly constructed Legislative Assembly of the Union Territory has begun today began today at Srinagar. The session is being held for five days. Addressing the session, Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha said the people look to the government with many hopes and aspirations. Mr. Sinha mentioned that the aspiration to return to statehood remains strong and that Prime Minister Narendra Modi has on several occasions expressed his commitment to restoring statehood. National Conference leader Abdul Rahim Rathir was elected as Speaker of the House unanimously. The Speaker asked the legislators to make the session productive and meaningful by addressing matters that help mitigate the issues of the common masses. Earlier, the House witnessed noisy scenes as the legislators of the Bharatiya Janata Party held a strong protest against a written resolution brought by the MLAs of the People's Democratic Party opposing the abrogation of Article 370. New and Renewable Energy Minister Prahlad Joshi today said that India has reached 90 gigawatts of installed solar capacity in its goal to attain 500 gigawatts of renewable energy capacity by 2030. Mr. Joshi was addressing the inaugural ceremony of the seventh session of the International Solar Alliance in New Delhi. The minister said the government has approved 50 solar parks with a renewable capacity of 37.5 gigawatts. He also added that this year the global solar sector is set to reach approximately 2 terawatt of installed solar solar photovoltaic capacity. That is all in this news bulletin. Namaskar. 